Created by Konami. Konami. Konami Computer Entertainment Japan. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction. I mean, Levinmon 14. There's that classic music. So, yeah, guys, uh, yep, yeah. Mod 14, and, uh, we're back with yet another new LP. So, this game is pretty, uh, it, it's, whew, this game's a classic, boy, I tell you. Um, but another thing about this game, this game might be, I don't know, it's tied up there, uh, Reshef of Dis or, I'm, I'm not sure if you say it, Reshef or Reshef. Or resheaf of destruction, but this game whew, might uh, well. Let's just get into it. But in my opinion, this might very well be the toughest Yu-Gi-Oh game ever, ever. And that's saying a lot. But uh, we're gonna try to let's play it here. Um, wish me best of luck. So we got a new game and. That classic jingle, we choose our names. So we'll go with F L O O D. Can we fit I in? Flood Foot Mob 14. Ah, we can put an M too. Ah, uh, let's just put uh Flood. Shall we put Flood in 4? No, let's just go with just you know what? We will put a 4. Flood in 4. Flood and Mom 14. We'll shorten it a little bit. And check out this intro, guys. Pretty cool. Let's watch the God Cards <laughs> sealed in stone. The Earth has not seen it in years. Something has been sent all over the Earth, and we have a dark monster, and we have some guy who looks like Pegasus with a lot of. This is new. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! for Ship of Destruction. Yeah. Now I put this monster card like here like so. And voila, I'm good to go. Blood Mom 14. How's it just in your deck coming along, buddy? Uh let's just say perfect here. Perfect. Yeah, you sure about that? That the expert, the one and only Joey Wheeler, check it out. Yeah. yeah. It's cool to, to be confident about your skills. But you still have a lot of work to do on this deck before it's any good. <laughs> I love the sound effects on this game. And don't feel too bad. I know you can struggle an awesome deck, Blood My 14. Hi guys. I'm totally gonna rock with this deck today. And I can't wait for the Dual Express train to come. Dual Express train. And it's been too long since I've dueled in a tournament. And ever since I do this kingdom, right, you Blood My 14 and Yugi and I are gonna own this tournament. Let's go for it. By the way, let's try by the way here. What's wrong? Oh yeah, what the heck's you? Joey pacing all nervous. Yeah, stinks. Look at the time already. We're gonna be late. Oh, we getting mad, Joey. He had that mad expression. Yeah, he's late. Come on, you. Can't you even think about being late on a day like this? Yeah, if he doesn't get here soon, we'll miss the Duel Express. He was the one who promised that the three of us were gonna take on the train together. Man, that you. I have rage, rage of the Brooklyn variety. If he doesn't get here, he can he can give me all his rare cards, and I still won't forgive him. Oh, really, Joey? Flood, it's my 14. Everything's horrible. And listen to that music. Oh man, plots of it. My other self. The Millennium Puzzle. What about the puzzle? My puzzle's gone. Along with the spirit inside. Someone stole the Millennium Puzzle? Heh. <laughs> this would never happen in the canon of Duel Monsters. I mean, the world would be over. We have to save the world. So this is a big, 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 big deal. Obviously. Oh, Yugi looks like he's gonna cry. When I woke up this morning, it was gone. The Millennium Puzzle. I... I, what am I supposed to do? Huh? Find out where it is, obviously. Yeah, we can't waste time here standing and talking. What do you mean, Joey? This is a pretty big deal, bro. 
he ain't flooding my 14. What do you think we should do? <laughs> and I love Joey's dialogue in this game, much like in other games. Like, look at that. What What do you think? You know, his uh, <laughs> his script is basically his uh, Brooklyn dialogue, Brooklyn Rage dialogue. Let's go look for it. Leave it to me. Now let's all go together. Yeah. Then that's what you're gonna do. Got a yoke. I won't stop until I find my dearest friend. Mojito no Boku. Oh, is that so? I promise. I'm counting on you, Floodmon14. Oh, Yugi's talking to you, the player. Ooh. Very cool. Anyway, more story stuff here. Hey, Floodmon14. What are you still doing here? Hi, Taya. Weren't the three of you gonna take the Dual Express? Uh, yeah, we told the word. What? The Millennium Puzzle is gone? Oh no! But don't worry, friendship will help us all through this tough time. But how? How did that happen? Uh, I know, right, Taya? This is a big deal. Oh, who are you? Allow me to explain everything, for I have seen the future. Forgive me, but I overheard your conversation. Oh, it's Ishizu Ishtar. So it seems the Millennium Puzzle has also disappeared, along with my Millennium Necklace. What I feared the most is coming to fruition, please. I need your help. I uh, need our help with what, Ishizu? I see you are puzzled, but that is only to be expected. Please bear with me and listen to my words carefully. I have come to ask you duelists for your help. You must save the world from Rishef the Dark Being. Who? I understand this is sudden and confusing. However, the world is in great peril. Oh boy, all this sounds familiar. Only strong duelists such as yourself can save us all from ru ruin before it is too late. Don't you mean ruin? You need us to save him from ruin. All the Millennium items have disappeared along with my necklace. This is most likely due to Rashif's destruction. An unknown entity must have commenced a fusion ritual on the Egyptian god guards. Wait, wouldn't that form a Horak thing? Which automatically lets you in? Which re-released Rishif, the dark being, into the world. And I'm going to constantly say Rishef or Rishif or whatever uh, in a different way. The ritual stole the mighty power of the Egyptian god cards. <laughs> no way, bro. I mean, like, okay, okay. We've established in the canon of Yu-Gi-Oh, right, that the god cards are real. And, like, everything they do is real and their powers are real. So if someone did this mystical, uh, you know, ritual or whatever... Would somebody have noticed, like, I mean, wouldn't there have been, like, earthquakes and tsunamis and, like, wouldn't there be, like, you know, some kind of a sign? Other than Ishizu telling us, you know, it'd be, like, there'd be bad stuff happening, let's just say. And the cards, now drained of its mystical energy, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, transformed in stone, you must send the dark being to its eternal rest before the world is destroyed. This sounds very familiar. But in order to accomplish this feat, the Egyptian gods are absolutely essential. Oh, I see. However, since the god cards have been turned to stone, they no longer have power. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Egyptian god cards no longer holding any power. Like I said, in the canon of the show, the god cards are real, so that sounds very, 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 very far-fetched. Although I guess something sort of similar did happen in the uh, filler arc with darts in season four, but they didn't get turned to stone, you know. Darts just kind of stole them and used their energy, but they were never, you know, powerless. Yeah, yeah. Only the Millennium Items can restore them to their former glory. The items have been scattered all over the world. They must be regained in order to res resurrect the Egyptian God cards. And with the help from the Egyptian gods, we may have a chance of sealing away the dark being once and for all. I see. I'm counting on you to accomplish this task. Uh, okay, we didn't even say we would do it, but, you know, we kind of do need to find Yugi's puzzles, so... Please, my powerful duelists, if left unchecked, the dark being's strength will keep growing. The world may be shrouded in perpetual darkness. Please help save the world. <sighs> what should we do, Flood Mod 14? Uh, defeat the dark being? That's impossible. Uh, well, yeah, we, yeah. I knew you'd say that. 
Thanks, Vlad. Besides, I have to find my Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm really agreeing to help, because we need to help Yugi find this puzzle, and apparently we're his buddy or whatever, so... I'll go with you, Floodmon14. Uh, no, 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 sir. I'll go with you. Yeah, you said I'm a powerful duelist, Shizu, but how can I refuse? Yeah, I'm coming along too, Flood. All right. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, you can... Uh, uh, you're welcome, Shizu. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought that was Joey talking because he turned to face her. First, the Millennium Item must be recovered as a descendant of a clan of the Gravekeepers. I can sense the faint pulses of the Millennium Items. Wait, wait, wait. So somehow your powers still work, even though you don't have your Millennium Necklace? Hmm. That's convenient, but okay. We'll roll with it. You must first make your way to the Egyptian ex Exhibition. If my feelings are correct, the first of the Millennium Items should be there. Oh. Okay. I know what I ask. It's a great imposition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're telling me. But I have no one to turn to except for you. Leave it to us or Pokemon Trainer Red. Yeah, leave it to us. Your words have given me hope for the first time in a long time. Aw. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear that, Ishizu. I leave the fate of the world in your hands. Okay. Weird. Anyway, we're now given free control. Um, first thing I want to do is, uh, I actually want to go here and save real quick because, uh, yeah, no, just saying, you might want to save right after the, all that. Uh, let's talk to people. You. You're going, Flood? Don't worry, friendship will help us all through this time. The Egyptian Exhibition is the last stop on the Duel Express. I don't think it's left yet, but it will soon. If you hurry, you can still catch you at the station. I'll be waiting at Yugi's grandpa's place. Come see us when you get back, okay? Yeah, and for some reason, uh, Taya was just ha <laughs> just happened to be sitting there through all that plot. Like, kind of weird. Uh, anyway, I want to show a duel for the first time, so let's talk to this person. Yeah, I want to ride in the duel express, but at my level, I'll get creamed in seconds. Uh, now, if you use a different button to talk to people, I think they can... Let's see, is it this button? No, no, no. Maybe we can't duel him. You. Street duels are the hippest thing happening right now. Uh, what if I talk to you with this button? Because I know you can use a button to duel people. Uh, what about this button? Sorry guys, I'm kind of trying to figure this out on my Soldier Boy game console. Oh! Well, apparently if we press start we can check our deck. So this is our deck and uh, yeah, some pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, Final Destiny, that's good. Uh, also, you may notice at the top there, deck capacity, 1278 out of 1600. Yeah, deck capacity is something I'll talk about a little later in this game. Back into darkness. Ooh, Beast of Tower. That's actually very good. Well, anyway, that's our starting deck. And we have our trunk, which I don't think we'll have anything on our trunk to start. But uh, status. Oh, uh, yeah, apparently our duels level 72. And you may see it on the screen there. 8,000 life points on your status. 500 domino. Uh, what does it mean? Why is it showing my life points there? Hmm. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, hopefully we can get into a duel soon. You, will you duel me? Hello? Time to court charter the entire experience train. For a tar duel tournament called the Duel Experience. It's an amazing one. Rich people can do. Okay. Uh... Oops. No. What about this button? This button? This button? A button here has to let us duel, and I'm pretty sure you can duel these people. You, dueling is only fun if you don't cheat. You should always choose anti-cards before dueling. That way, there won't be any arguments later. Anti-cards? What? You mean like in, in Battle City? You, talk to me. You say you're a true duelist, but you're just an amateur that likes playing games. Here, I'll talk. What? Buddy, I will... Ooh, wait till I figure out how to duel. I will duel you something fierce. You're a duelist, aren't you? I can tell from your duel this. Boy, there sure are a lot of duels on the town of Domino. Uh, yeah. Well? Hmm. Maybe I press... Nope. Start and select. There is a way to duel, and I will figure it out. If it's the last thing I do. You! Did you hear about the Duel Express? Any duelist can get on board. Maybe I should go too. Well, I guess I'll go to the Duel Express if I can't figure out how to duel. I won't be riding the Duel Express, man. But that doesn't mean my duelist level is low. Oh, okay. Well, I will figure it out. 
Uh, let's go over here for now, I guess. Tristan, what's up? Yo, Flood Mod 14! Yeah, I heard from Taya. I know you can win. But remember, if you lose the duel, you lose your soul. And what is this? A dog? Oh, it's literally a dog. Hi. Hello, Flood Mod 14. Didn't you like my dice? Taya told me what's up. You'll do awesome. Okay. Oh, good thing we came in here. Cutscene. Grandpa, I'm home. Yeah, any new rare cards come in, Gramps? Oh, okay. We should buy some cards and strengthen our deck. Well, I do have a little domino. Floodmon 14, be careful. What do you have, Grandpa? Hello, good to see you. We have some excellent cards here. So, we do have 500 domino. Um, I doubt we would want to buy anything this early, but uh, let's see what cards are available this early. Unhappy Maiden cost 10. Uh, sure, we'll buy that for the cost of 10. This costs 10 as well. Oh, what? Oh. Oh no, I guess that cost... Because we had 500 domino, right? I guess that cost 400 domino. Okay, whoops. Well, I did buy something there, but maybe we could have bought something better. Probably not. Uh, so this cost 880. Yeah, I doubt we could have bought anything, you know, too, too good to start here. But, okay. Thank you very much. Yuck a hole. Alright, Yugi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say, Joey? Yeah, I wish Yugi's Grams would give us a discount on cards. I know, right? Especially if we're trying to save the world, right? Shh. Alrighty. Well, now that I have an extra card, will people duel me? Mm, no. Well, I'd rather figure out how to duel some people early here just so I can show you guys how the card game works. Let's see, it's gotta be some button here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well. Well, hmm, what's up? I want to ride the Dolan Express. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Best of the best. Well, let's go over. I guess we'll just take the Dolan Express since I really can't figure it out. Uh, let's go up here. I mean, over here. Okay, so this is Domino Station. This is where the plot wants us to go. Your duelist? Yes. Yes, we are. Heh. <laughs> ah, oh, are you? Then please step on board. Just kidding. It's never that easy. If you wish to board the Duel Express, heh, <laughs> you'll have to get by us first. In other words, you have to duel. Winning this tag duel is your boarding pass. Meh, nah, I wouldn't expect things to be a cakewalk. But who would imagine a tag duel to test our skills? Well, I don't think we have a choice. There's no way every duelist in the world can fit into the train. Ah, good point of you. Yeah, I guess a fool within a tag duel, you'll need a partner. That's my 14. Who do you want to team up with, me or you? Uh, doesn't really matter who you pick here, but let's pick, uh, let's pick Joey for whatever reason. Yeah, I. That was a wise decision, Blood Mod 14. Yeah, here I go. Alright, so now we choose an anti. And I guess we'll choose that new card we got, uh, which was. Well, I guess we can choose Jinzo here too. Yeah. Use his anti. Okay. So, here's how the duels work here. Yeah. Pretty interesting. So, most cards will go face down. But what you want to do is uh, go ahead and play that. Yeah, and as you see, it's face down there. Uh, defend. Okay, so basically the same rules as normal. You can tribute once per turn. And, uh, yeah. Um, and you also get to draw, like, one card per turn. So, but yeah, you can only summon once per turn, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we could set this. But, uh, yeah, let's do that. And then to go to the menu, you just end your turn. Also, you can freely discard. That'll come up a little bit later. Let's see what the train man has. Curious Sea King. 
pretty strong monster at 800. Okay, and he is Aqua type. Okay. Do, do, do. So let's go with Wing Cleaver face down. So let's try using this spell. Back into Darkness was activated. It'll carry the monster of the foes field to the afterlife. So basically, it's kind of like, kind of like Smashing Ground or Fissure or. I don't know, it's very similar to a lot of destruction cards, so let's see what he's got now. Defense mode, good. It's flooding my 14th turn. Kind of glad that happened, because I want to show you guys this. So, well actually, I wanted to show you how to tribute, but let's just summon an, another monster here first. Let's go with uh, Thunder Kid. Alright, and Wing Cleaver, attack. Oh, so he had Thunder Kid, funny. Okay, and we'll just attack. Easy down to 6600. One of the turn. What do you got? Defense mode again. This is going good. Alright. So, yeah, this, this first duel against the train uh, driver, it's going to be pretty easy, so. Alright. Luku. Oh! Well, as you saw there, uh, we were actually stronger st stat wise, but this monster is a. Can I go into the details of it? No. But well, as you see on the screen there, I don't know if you can see or not, but on the bottom right, you see how it's a shadow? And we attacked him with a light monster? Yeah, there are certain, um, kind of, uh, how do you say. Well, basically, some, um, monsters. And you see how, like, Wing Cleaver is a forest down there? Well, some monsters are super effective against other monsters and will, like, automatically kill them, even if you have more stats, so... Yeah, Shadow beats Light in this game, so... Yeah, we just got home there, basically. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that happened at least once, so we can see that. We'll go with Curtain to the Dark Ones. Lightning Conjure, 750, huh? That's pretty good. Well, I guess we'll just defend. And we'll keep uh, Thunder Kid in attack mode. All right, we in turn. All right, what's he gonna do? Oh, he tribute something. Oh no, and it's uh, Hatsu no Otoshiro. Pretty good card. Pretty good card. It's got 1300. But we have a tribute monster too. Yes, a yeah, single tribute is required. So what you want to do is go over here, and you want to hit tribute on on the field, and then you can play your tribute monster. All right, Peacock, get him. Nice. Alright, and actually 1700 is really, 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 really good in this game, you know, so we're doing good. First duel, what you got? Oh, and yeah, as you saw there, Pyro is super effective against Force, so he just took our Tribute Monster out, just like that, that's crazy, that's crazy, I can't believe that happened, but, alright, we got a trap, now we have this Mystic Lamp, uh, what's its effects? I don't even know, but, um, let's try it. It, it is orange color, so it has some kind of effect. Effects. The second lamp was activated. It will inflict life point equal to the attack power on the opponent directly. So he just took uh, 400 right now. So that's, yeah. And in order to use some effects, in order to use all effect monsters effect in this game, your effect monster has to be face down. So just keep that in mind. Ooh, yeah. Starboard will disappear. Hey, eat a bagoon. All right, my turn. Okay. Ooh, Beast of Talwar. Nice. Two tributes are required. Okay. Well, I'm surprised we get to show this off in this game. But it is pretty cool. I will tribute two. And we will show off. Normally this is a one-star monster, so... Interesting to see Beast of Talwar be a two-star monster in this game. But yeah, 2400 is huge. It's early in the game. So unless he has the right type against Fiend. Heavy Storm. Every monster, spell, and trap card on the field are destroyed. Well, there you go. He out of that pretty easily, huh? And weather control. So we lose 600 life points. Alright, but that thing's only got 600 points. I guess we'll roll with La La Leon. Defense mode, I guess. Alright, I am the turn. What do you got? Oh, he tributed. Joma. Wow. We might actually have to use Final Destiny here. I didn't think we'd have to, but uh, yeah, let's do it. Final Destiny. So here's what this card does. Very crazy. Every monster, spell, and trap on the field and cards in the hand are destroyed. So 
pretty crazy that we had to use that on the first duel, but you know, there it is. And it's our turn, so hopefully we get a monster we can summon. No, we got Tatsu no Otoshigo. Alright. Tomosaurus. We can draw monsters that are better than that. Or tie, so nice. Alright, so this is a dreams. Hopefully Earth aren't strong against dreams. No, they're not. Okay. Alright, I end my turn. So he's down to two cards in hand. Nice, okay. Well, I guess we will... Well, let's just play Petite Dragon in defense. I forget, how many life points does he have? Ooh, nice. Alright. And uh, speaking of dreams, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, some of the new Gazelle, the myth mythical beast uh, monsters and fusions and stuff got re released recently. And uh, yeah, um, the and, and we have, now have a new type of Yu-Gi-Oh card, like the Illusionist type. And it's kind of funny. The uh, the Illusionist type is actually kind of based on Dream type, the Dream type in this game. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We'll go with Tatsu no Otoshi. How do you say this? Tatsu no Otoshi go. All right, there we go. Ooh, okay. Well, you got us there with you know. All right, he's down to 1150. I thought we had him there, but yeah, this first duel is actually taking quite a while. Pretty, pretty interesting. All right, but it looks like that final destiny worked out for us. Normally, I hate top decking in this game, but you know. Oh, petite dragon, bro. Get that out of here. And as far as I know, there are no like card animations in this game, but you know. All right, all right, train driver. Oh, you just had to out my Tribute Monster. Man, he's outed our Tribute Monster like every time in this game. Uh, does this card have an effect in this game? Oh, no, no, it does not. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Let's just do this. Yeah, Phantom Thief. Yeah. And you know what? Let's attack the Arm Ninja. And insult to entry. The sparks do 200 in this game. Are we gonna win with sparks? Oh, it does 50 damage. 50. Okay. <laughs> All right, Drover, finish him off. All right, so we get a dual victory for the first time. Deck capacity increased by three and 200 domino. Hain Hain. Ah, yeah. And as you see, Hain Hain doesn't have an effect in this game, but it's a beast wind type. A beast with a prominent nose and an axe of huge dimensions. It whips up gusts of wind to stop its foes, then attacks with the X. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, what took so long flooding mod 14? Oh my god, was he timing this? No way. Yeah, if you're having trouble against these guys, well, I'd hate to think what would happen against some real competition. Hurry up and catch up to my level. I mean, we were kind of struggling there. Bravo! Please feel free to board the train. And that guy will move out of the way. But, uh, what you... Let me go to the status screen here real quick, and you'll notice something. So, let's go to status. Okay, so you notice how we took life point damage in that duel? Just a little bit, but now our life points are at 65.50. Yeah, fun fact. If you go into another duel, you know... Yeah, your starting life points will be... Not at 8,000, you know, the starting life point. It'll be at 65.50 if you go right now, so I highly recommend you go back. And you might say, well, wait, 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 if that's the case, how do you recover your life points? What do you do about your life points? Well, I'm pretty sure if you go, there is a place to go. Oh, hello. I want to get on the Dole Express, but I'm lost. I can't find Domino Station. Okay. Pretty sure if you go up here, somewhere there is a place. Oh, we can't go past here. Weird. Uh, there is a place you can go. Let me see if I can find it here. It's not there. Is it here? I don't think it's here. The past here is like... You step into my territory and have the gall to challenge me? We'll duel for a rare card. Oh! This guy duels you. Whoops. Well, I definitely didn't mean to do this, so let's, uh... Wow, no one else would duel me, but this guy does. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Let's see if this guy's strong. Alright, hopefully not too bad. Um, Phantom Dewan, and we will end the turn. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Yeah, defending. Good. 
Okay, let's go with... Uh, Buku. Alright, Buku, attack is face down. Ooh, bite shoes. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, hopefully this guy's not too bad, because our life points are pretty low here. What do you got? Nothing. Okay, good. But yeah, Heavy Storm. <laughs> Can't believe we saw Heavy Storm in the first duel, but yeah, Heavy Storm, pretty darn good card. Try to get that card if you can. Uh, oh, right, right. So we defended there. Let's go with this. Buku. Time to turn the page. Phantom Dewan. Get him. Okay, we're doing fine here. Alright, what do you got? Alright, just bite shoes. That's fine. Okay, let's go with being cleaver, I guess. And what I like to do in this duel is I like to have, um, my strategy is basically to have as many monsters on board as possible. Usually, like, I won't do like I do last, I did last duel and tribute summon right away. You know, because as you saw, they can easily take out your monster if they have a super effective type. So what I prefer to do is, like, now that I've got three monsters on board, it's like, okay, now I'll tribute for, you know, um, one of these people. I'll, I'll do the horse, Tatsu no o Toshigo, just in case he has something that's super effective, you know? And, and that's what I like to do. I like to play, like, my weakest tribute summon first, just in case the AI has, like, Heavy Storm or, you know, or they have the super effective type right away, or they have Beckon to the Darkness like we did, you know. So, um, let's go with... That Fury Seeking ain't bad. Let's attack with him. He makes nice. Yeah, this guy's pretty weak. This guy's pretty weak. All right. And luckily, he didn't attack us. He didn't do damage at all to us. Oh, he's going to have, like, 250 left. Okay. All right, we, we've got this. We've got this. Nice. All right. And I guess we'll set Magician of Faith. Yeah, Magician of Faith doesn't have an effect in this game either. Uh, but I think if you... Let's attack here. Nice. Alrighty, and we win. Phantom Dewan. 